I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, guys, welcome back. Today, gotta take off this afternoon. Got the pleasure of going to the dentist. It's honestly really not that bad, people. Dentists aren't that mean to people. Seriously. But we gotta change the hydraulic filter on this tractor and uh, maybe top off a little coolant, hydraulic oil, after we change the filter. Colin's gonna get uh, going picking rocks again, especially on that road project over there. There's a few rocks you can pick with a picker on that. And uh, we'll keep on working on getting stuff done on that farm. Had a few days off from that because of getting those trailers brought home. They're both here and just got a few uh, few odds and ends to get tied up for that and we'll get over there start cleaning up rock piles finishing more on that road before it freezes up for good because it's uh, we got a few more days of nice weather coming here the way it looks new steer tires for the white truck these are cheap yeah you like those fancy uh Totally lost my train of thought of what those things are called now. Uh, outback wraps. Outback yeah. wraps. Those are straight handy. Well, I am doing my favorite thing. Not really, but it has to be done. And that's picking rocks. Fun stuff. Picking rocks off the road makes it easier for Tony to grade the road. So I'm going to pick my way over west and then pick some rocks and some fields over there and then go pick around on the road so you started making over there. Yep, that's a big one. That one don't need to be on the road edge. Got it. Well, I know you guys asked, uh, it was been quite a few videos ago when we started rock picking this fall, but I'm just using my phone right now. It's got little red dots all over it where Warren or Tony, when they were combining or spraying, would mark them and then I go to them spots and try to find the big rocks that they marked. And then as I'm driving around the field too, I pick up the other rocks that I see that are, you know, not good to go through a combine. So running around just picking rocks. And yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. Nah, nah. This is probably my least favorite job on the farm. I'm not gonna lie. There's, I would rather do something else, but it's gotta be done. So we don't break our combines or break shanks on drills and stuff like that. Some of these rocks are pretty big, pretty big. And that would not be good going through the combine or break a shank on the air seeder. But look at what I found, a shovel. That would not have been so good in a tire. That would have been pretty bad. Whew, ouchie. Now I'm kind of working on the picking rocks on the roads that Tony kind of made.
Well, good morning. Back to uh, road building. Trip to the dentist was uh, pretty successful. Didn't, uh, didn't have any new cavity, so that's a win. So we're gonna head over now. They're gonna be coming over to get that uh, pro till this afternoon. So we'll finish up and get it washed off so they can come take it. And uh, yeah, thanks Torgersons and uh, Dagelman for letting us try that thing out. I really want one. I just don't have enough uses for one to buy one. So they're awesome machines, very well built. Do their job that they're supposed to do and do it well. So if you're looking for something for tillage, definitely look at one of those. Well, Tony is using the pro till to do the other section line. I uh, using the little disc to disc this section line up and get it ready so he can grade it. Well, we got all the road work done on this uh, new new back roads we've been working on, I think for the year. Next year we'll probably do some more once it's kind of packed in and some of that grass has broke down more. Except we just pushed off to the edge. Did two miles of that where we just dissed it, tried to fill in the two track ruts and then uh, just moved the extra to the edge and the grass. So that looked like I, uh, yeah, I looked like a miner today. Coal miner. And uh, now, Time to start doing some uh, rock pile cleanup and section lines. Found a dirty, used, and used for hauling a lot of manure, hay loader, but it was cheap. I thought it was cheap anyways. And uh, I figured that will at least keep us from destroying a loader on one of these front end wheel assist tractors because uh, those wouldn't be cheap to fix. Morning. Well, judging by the comments you guys had about using this for hauling manure and not having a manure spreader, I think you guys are a little confused on the intent of this trailer. I didn't buy this for hauling manure. I bought it to go clean up rock piles and section lines and haul rock and stuff like that. It just happened to be here, so I figured we'd haul the manure. So, I'm gonna fire this up. We're gonna take it into the shop, do a little welding on it. I noticed it was missing an X brace to keep everything a little more sturdy when it's lifted up in the air. So let's do that so we don't tip it over. So this is an M11 Cummins. First Cummins we've had on the farm since the last Freightliner we owned, which was an 87 Freightliner with a dump box on it, grain truck. So this is a 330 horse, 370 the tag says, which I was told means 330 horsepower on the foot throttle. 370 on the cruise, but I could be wrong. So we'll check oil and fluids. Looks good. Coolant's good too. Let's see if it'll fire up. No problem, man. Still gotta figure out that uh, tractor fuel system. 
vacuum leak from a jigger. What'd you call it? It's losing prime. And I'm losing my voice. So there's these cross braces in here, but there's nothing up there. And that's quite the long run. So we'll add one or maybe a full X in there. Angle brace or full X, we'll see. But that's our plan. There was one. And someone cut it off. So we gotta fix that. All right, so we got the hoist up a little bit, stuck some lamb beams in there to support it so it's not gonna come down on us. The valve's still closed. So there's two, two protection deals in place. But I need to weld some cracks up before I put this brace in, and then we'll put that in, maybe put some gussets on the corners. And then I think we're ready to go haul some rock. So diagonal brace to keep it from moving and then a couple of braces in here to keep this brace from sliding back and forth. If it can't move side to side at all, it shouldn't get too tippy. This, uh, I know we should have gone full length, but I didn't have enough square tube. Actually I did, but I don't know why I'm telling you that. Well, we're going to get the manure out of the bucket. Oh, there's some white. And the cab. Whew! Dad did not have a boot brush paid off his boots when he climbed in this thing. This was a uh, Facebook marketplace find actually, so sent a buddy down to pick it up with a check and uh, yeah, he could have at least cleaned it out for me, but oh well, he was using it. Well, that's better. I can see the floor now. Got the bucket cleaned out. Bunch of the stuff off the axles. We're ready to go to work. Well, here's the destination for these rocks and dirt. The uh, ready mix crew in the area came and cleaned up a bunch of rock piles and other spots years ago. Piled it here. This happens to be on the land that we just bought, so kind of handy. If we ever need field dirt, we got it now, and we'll probably get some grizzly bars at some point. We'll try to screen a bunch of that rock off and uh, maybe sell that rock, use that for field dirt, whatever. So we're gonna dump here and uh, just keep on adding to the pile, push it up as we need. There we go. First dump, success. Didn't tip it over. Okay, let's go. Well, if we just keep going along and just scooping up the section line rock piles and stuff like that, we're getting a lot of grass and dirt and stuff. So I'm gonna come along and get these big rocks out first. We're gonna get a burn permit this evening when the wind goes down. Got some, started disking some edges there, so they're, not going to be a threat of spread across the rest of the field. When the wind goes down, we'll start burning these. I need Colin to come over and be backstop and kind of just push that into the bucket as I roll the bucket back, but I feel like that to do. Well, we got a little hydro, well, it's a big hydraulic leak actually. Might just be a loose fitting. Well, I got it cleaned off and there's a crack in the fitting. So, I might try taking it home tonight. Run a little bead over that, grind it up, weld it, and see if that fixes it. Or I might have something like that. It's an O-ring and a JIC 90. Could have one of those, we'll see. Well, we got the burn permit. It's time to take care of some grass.
we just gonna go run down the edge, make sure nothing's warm, and uh, make sure everything is burned out and head home. Well, good morning. Out in the shop here, obviously. Got my welding helmet on, and then in the shop. I got this fitting off the loader, ground out the little crack on it, and I'm gonna take and run a little bead on it. I did find another one as well, but if I can fix this one, I'll put this on. See if that works. Keep this one as a spare with me if I uh, need it. Back the other way. I win. You win? I win. Well, since we didn't have enough equipment over here already, we brought the skid steer over too. It helped out a lot. It's a lot easier to maneuver than that tractor to push rocks in the bucket. And uh, we got a good grapple but rock bucket on that. So that'll help out a lot on uh, just loading these rocks quick till we can haul them off the payloader. And then we can dig out anything that's deeper a lot quicker than I can because I can't really see much with this thing. Morning, windmill. What's left to you? been upgraded to the payloader. Tony is in the skid steer now. Well, Cole and I are switching places here. I'll do the uh, skid steer rodeo and get beat up for a while. Get to run the big equipment now. some of this pushed up gonna start loading that in the truck we'll go dump it this uh, time change oh it's getting dark early running out of time getting dark in a hurry dump this and head home well we made it back here to the bins it's pretty good for today got a lot of a lot of stuff moved and i kind of got a plan on the rest of it now so don't forget 
Farm hard, pray harder. If you're gonna order stuff from Farm Focus, better get your orders in quick because there's lots of delays with shipping as well as just inventory. People didn't go to work for a while there, so there's still, uh, still a backlog on shirts and sweatshirts, hats, all that stuff. Links below. See you later.